simplest explain between stateless and stateful meaning in technical. In technical terms, stateless and stateful refer to how a system, application, or component handles and remembers information across multiple interactions or requests. Here's a breakdown. Stateless. Definition. A stateless system or component treats each request or interaction as completely independent, without any knowledge or memory of previous requests. It doesn't store any session, specific data on the server side between requests. Analogy, imagine a vending machine. You put in money, select a product, and it dispenses. The machine doesn't remember your previous purchases or who you are. Each transaction is a new, isolated event. Key characteristics. No memory. The server doesn't retain information from one request to the next. Self-contained requests. Each request must contain all the necessary information for the server to process it. Scalability. Easier to scale horizontally because any server can handle any request, and requests can be distributed across multiple servers without needing to share state. Fault tolerance. More resilient to server failures because if a server goes down, another can pick up the next request without losing any ongoing session data. Simplicity. Often simpler to design, implement, and maintain as there's no complex state management. Examples. HTTP. Hypertext Transfer Protocol, the fundamental protocol of the web, is inherently stateless. Each time your browser requests a web page, it's a new, independent request. RESTful APIs, designed to be stateless, meaning each API request contains all the information needed to process it. Many microservices, often designed to be stateless for better scalability and flexibility. Stateful. Definition. A stateful system or component remembers and retains information, its state or context, from previous interactions or requests. This stored information influences how subsequent requests are processed. Analogy. Think of an ongoing phone conversation. Both participants remember what's been said previously, and the conversation progresses based on that shared history. If you hang up and call back, you typically have to start a new conversation unless the system explicitly saves the state of the previous call, like a voicemail. Key characteristics. Memory. The server maintains data about the client's past interactions. Context aware. Subsequent requests are processed with the knowledge of prior interactions. Personalization. Enables richer, more continuous, and personalized user experiences, e.g. remembering items in a shopping cart. Complexity can be more complex to design and manage, especially when it comes to scaling and ensuring data consistency across multiple servers. Fault tolerance challenges. If a server storing the state fails, that session's data might be lost unless mechanisms like session replication or persistent storage are in place. Examples. Online banking applications. They need to remember your login status, account balance, and transaction history throughout your session. E-commerce shopping carts. The website remembers the items you've added to your cart as you browse. Traditional web applications using server-side sessions. The server stores session data associated with a user. Databases. Databases are inherently stateful as they persist data and remember its current state. Hybrid approaches. It's important to note that in modern software architecture, many applications use a hybrid approach, combining both stateless and stateful components. For instance, a stateless front-end application might interact with a stateful back-end database. Stateless APIs might be used for common requests, while more complex workflows or personalized user experiences rely on external state management systems, like databases, caching layers, or dedicated session stores that themselves are stateful. The choice between stateless and stateful depends heavily on the specific requirements of the application, particularly concerning scalability, performance, fault tolerance, and the need for persistent user context.